But what it made me realize was how vulnerable all black men are. We got to my house in Harvard Square and the door was jammed. The door wouldn't open. And while I was on the phone, a Cambridge policeman showed up on my porch. And he demanded that I step out of my house onto the porch. That's all he said. He said, I would like you to step outside. I said, absolutely not. I said, why are you here? He said, I'm investing a breaking and entering charge. I said, this is my house. I'm a Harvard professor. I live here. He said, can you prove it? I walked into the kitchen to get my Harvard ID and my uh, Massachusetts driver's license. He followed me without my permission. I gave him the two items and I demanded to know his name and his badge number. He was just very upset. He was trying to figure out who I was. He was looking at the ID. He didn't say anything. I said, why are you not responding to me? Are you not responding to me because you're a white police officer and I'm a black man? It looked like a police convention. There were so many policemen outside. I stepped out on my porch and said, I want to know your colleague's name and his badge number. And this officer said, thank you for accommodating my earlier request. You are under arrest. And he slapped handcuffs on me and they took me to jail. Took me to the Cambridge Police Station and booked me. Fingerprints, mugshot. But what it made me realize was how vulnerable all black men are. How vulnerable all people of color are and all poor people to capricious forces like a rogue policeman. My tumultuous, outrageous action, Tom, was to demand that he give me his name and his badge numbers. If I had stepped outside of my house, he couldn't come in my house legally without a warrant. He couldn't arrest me without a warrant. Had I stepped outside, he would have slapped handcuffs on me before um, being uh, under suspicion of breaking and entering. Responding to a profile, two black men with backpacks were breaking and entering into my home. It was the fault of a policeman who couldn't stand a black man standing up for his rights right in his face. They would never do it. I mean, they were too vulnerable to do it, to say where they were.